and are you refreshed yes. Yes. good now what thank you Abraham I really wasn't sure what I was going to ask you now that's just annoying to all of them <laughs> <laughs> no, because I had three or four questions that were coming to mind. And so I'm just trusting that the right one is the one that will come out of my mouth. Yeah. I work with energy fields of the body. So I work with helping people to move energy blocks and imbalances in their body. And it's lovely work, and I so enjoy doing it. But I really, really wonder, what is actually happening in the body when the body heals itself? What is it doing? How does it do it? Well... First of all, it's important to understand that the trillions of cells in your body are vibrational focal points, so to speak, like trillions of consciousnesses in your body. And they are in communication with the source energy part of you. You accept that or maybe you do, we want you to understand that your Earth spinning in its orbit in perfect proximity to other planets is about intention that is focused about it. And we want you to understand that the well-being of your physical apparatus has that same attention upon it so that it is normal that you thrive. So it isn't that it works to thrive, it is that it is natural to thrive. Mm -hmm. And so anytime you are thinking thoughts, your thoughts are affecting the communication between that source and your cells. So when you say you are doing energy work mm -hmm. with others, meaning you're coming into alignment focusing upon their apparatus and using the influence of your alignment to assist them mm -hmm. still you are only as effective as your ability to get them to relax and get out of the way mm -hmm. so what a true energy worker is is someone in relationship to their own body who's deliberately thinking their thoughts mm -hmm. because your energy is moving through you in response to the thoughts that you are thinking mm -hmm. it really is as simple as that mm -hmm. What more are you wanting? Well, I'm interested in what happens at the cellular levels. You know, when, when someone has cancer, say, and they want to have that cancer go away from their body, and they have that intention for that to happen, and the healing does or it doesn't happen, what makes the difference? What, what happens when they decide they want to be healed that happens at, this, at that cellular level? Does it go down and actually talk to the consciousness of the cell and say, let's do this? What happens is there is a release and a resistance, which is the only thing that is preventing their desire from being answered to begin with. Okay. The thing that's a little tricky about it is that it's hard for anyone else to understand the true intent of anyone. Mm -hmm. So that's part of it. But the most significant thing, let's just assume for sake of what you're asking here, mm -hmm. and it is logical to most, that when someone has a disease, something that they do not want, that they would like to release that from their experience. Mm -hmm. But it goes back to what we were saying in the very first words that we offered today. Your attention to what is mm -hmm. often prevents what you really want from happening because what is is so dominant in so many experiences and so it is a matter of releasing the thought that is holding you in the resistance to the well-being that you're wanting so we want to talk not about the disease but to talk about the wellness to turn the attention to what is wanted but you see it isn't attention to illness that is causing illness oh it is once the illness happens then it's hard not to give your attention to the illness but it is not the attention to illness that brings about illness it's attention to unwanted things of a variety in other words it's being off in the weeds about that and 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 off in the weeds about that it is a habit or a momentum of putting yourself in the place of resistance about a lot of things there is just a general attitude of unworthiness that abounds in the physical environment that springs forth from people not getting what they think they want and assuming that there is something outside of them that is preventing them from getting it. And so they assign themselves this feeling of unworthiness because their logic tells them that if they were really doing what they should be doing, that they would really be getting what they're wanting. And so 
it can be complicated the reasons why but it is always accompanied with negative emotion so is that a trapping of a negative emotion in a certain part of the body that allows the illness to manifest never what is it then it is a fixation upon a subject that disallows the natural energy from flowing in the way that it would if you were not doing that thing that you're doing that's preventing that from happening okay so so what determines where they'll get the illness that they get well that has to do with thoughts that they've been thinking in other words there are some patterns like that but this might be the easiest way for you to hear it Esther was talking with a friend the other day about dreams and how do you notice that often when you awaken from a dream and are remembering it that so many things that you've just been thinking about or living were in your dream last night Esther was dreaming about a booklet there were many pages that were double-sided and all night long she worked on it with quark which is a computer application and when she awakened in the morning she thought that was way more work than I ever have applied so she knows that there's something that she's working on that she's wanting to find a smoother rhythm about and that was just a subject that was the easiest thing for her to interpret into her dream state as an example of it you sort of get what we're talking about don't you sometimes find that your dreams are full of things that you've been thinking about but what is really happening your dreams are a creation what you think about and what you feel and what manifests in your experience always match and what you think about and what you feel and what manifests in your dream state always match so it's logical that through the path of least resistance that it would happen in the way that it does because those are the things that you've thought about the most mm -hmm. so for example if someone gets a bladder cancer versus a stomach cancer it's related in Chinese medicine it would be related more to fear than worry is that how it happens you know or? what we want to say to all of that stop it <laughs> stop it because the scrutiny about things like that only hold you in a thought pattern that is not helpful the path to wellness is not identifying an isolating disease we know in the physical format it feels like it is but that's part of that yeah 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 what they were talking about what you're really wanting is alignment with this the best way that we can explain this to you and it may not be the technical understanding that you're reaching for here but see the cork floating on the surface of the water that's alignment now take hold of it and hold it under the water that's resistance but when you let go of it it bobs right back up there again and so just don't try so hard to manage the cork oh cork oh cork <laughs> you're under the water now and I want to identify why that is <laughs> I don't know why you're choosing to be under the water like you are let's go under the water over here and let's go under the water over here and let's go under the water over here and let's read a book while we're under the water over here and let's go get some treatment over here while we're under the water oh cork but when you let go of it oh what are you doing back up there cork come back down here come back down here where I can talk to you about the things that are bothering us I love that I love that so I, I also work in conventional medicine so I, I love this perspective of this I truly do believe in what you've been saying about it's following the joy and that's truly the path for healing and I get very frustrated when people talk about the battle with cancer and all those other things because that seems when we talk about getting out ahead of things mm -hmm. you can get out ahead of it even when you're in the midst of it you're powerful now is the intersection or the junction where you and all that you desire meet that larger part of you who has already heard you and answered you and is living the solution that you're looking for so your problem meets your solution now your question meets your answer now it's all happening right now right now it's all happening right now the question is what are you in the receiving mode of right now it isn't easy to all of a sudden after long momentum of being so physically focused to accept yourself as a vibrational being we know that but 
that is the answer to all of the things that you are looking for to accept your vibrational nature rather than your physical nature now certainly your physical nature is an extension of your vibrational nature your physical nature could not be if it were not for your vibrational basis but if you could get your attention off of what has manifested and upon the vibration that is causing the next and the next and the next and the next reaching for an analogy for Esther because she is thinking a lot these days about momentum and when you have momentum that has gradually moved you along to wherever you are sometimes it feels like that momentum is on a course that cannot be changed but that is not true you could be in an airplane and be gradually ascending to 35,000 feet or you could be in a rocket ascending much more rapidly and much more specifically and much more directly so your thoughts have more power and impact than most of you are giving them credit and the reason is most of you are offering most of your thoughts in response to what you are observing do you feel the sort of nailing your foot to the floor about that in other words if thoughts are powerful and mostly what you're thinking about is what is then you're sort of squandering your power by staying the same things are changing constantly but they change to the same thing because you've got your attention upon the same things so different faces in different places but the same sort of thing happening over and over again where if you could accept that you can gradually change your thoughts so we say a belief is only a thought that you keep thinking well where do you get your beliefs you get your beliefs by observing what's going on and then you get in a room and you argue with each other about your beliefs and you say no I'm right no I'm right no I'm right and the reason you are so passionate about the rightness of your belief is because your belief is proof of what you believe the reality what happens proves what you believe Esther would say to us in the early days but Abraham it's true and we would say what's that got to do with anything <laughs> there are all kinds of things that are true that you don't want to experience be more discriminating about which beliefs you focus upon which beliefs you hold active in your experience which beliefs continue to replicate themselves in your experience because the thoughts that you continue to think and so all of you are touched by life and life causes you to react and your reaction is part of what perpetuates your belief law of attraction and momentum all take hold of that but it does not have to be that way you have the ability to focus otherwise and so we can have a conversation about vibration and what it produces in terms of health or in terms of illness or we can have a conceptual conversation about a cork that is floating and you have to ask yourself which one feels the best when you're having the conversation and most of you would say well the cork floating conversation actually felt better to me it made sense to me but it's much more general and not so specific to my experience and we say the general things are usually better for your experience because the specifics that you are focused upon are usually the specifics of what is how lovely would it be if you all could get to the specifics of what you desire instead of the specifics of what is